All right, on Capitol Hill today, funding talks continue as a partial government shutdown looms. And with the disagreements over border policy and aid for Ukraine, it's looking more and more likely that a short-term spending bill may be necessary. So CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian is joining us now from Capitol Hill with more on where things stand. So, Nicole, you know this uh, song and dance. We're just a week away from the first government funding deadline. The question for the ages, can a shutdown be averted? <laughs> I mean, I it's a question like you've asked that asked, I, I, I don't think I've ever asked that question before. <laughs> so it sounds so strange coming out of my mouth. Well, I was going to say the answer for the ages, <laughs> which many times is our response up here, is that, you know, we don't know. Uh, quite frankly, obviously, you know, lawmakers are in a bit of a conundrum in terms of next steps. Certainly over on the Senate side, they've made clear that they feel that some type of continuing resolution is going to be needed in the short term just to bridge the gap between getting all of these appropriations bills done. Uh, they think it's going to be really tough to try to get it done, not only by a January 19th, but even potentially February 2nd when these two government funding deadlines hit. So, you know, Mitch McConnell has made clear he thinks that that is the best way to go. Uh, Leader Chuck Schumer has kind of been signaling that. The question is whether a Speaker Mike Johnson will follow suit, uh, but he is facing some pushback from many of his members uh, more on the conservative flank, uh, not just because because of this top line spending agreement that was reached a couple of days ago. Uh, but also, you know, many of them aren't hot on this idea of extending government funding for a temporary basis, doing another short term CR, keeping funding levels as they are. So uh, the speaker's really caught between a rock and a hard place. Uh, but again, uh, we'll just kind of have to see how things play out with about a week to go. Um, there's also a separate push, as you know, uh, by the White House for more national security funding. At the heart of this is a disagreement about what needs to be done at the border. The Republicans still want to exchange, you know, want to see border policy changed in exchange for more funding guaranteed for Ukraine. Can you talk a little bit more about where things stand with these two sides? Yeah, well, things continue to move incrementally as far as those border talks are concerned. Uh, we do know that some Senate Republicans were able to meet on this issue just yesterday. But again, uh, you have some more conservative uh, members who have expressed concerns about any potential deal. And we know one of the sticking points continues to be this issue of a uh, parole authority, which uh, the administration has used to help resettle some migrants. So uh, that continues to be a sticking point between both Democrats and Republicans. Earlier this week, some of the top negotiators made clear that they're still kind of working on a lot of these uh, open-ended issues and that it was unlikely any kind of deal would be reached this week. So uh, those talks have languished a bit. But again, uh, you know, this national security funding, uh, not only funding for Ukraine, but also for Israel, the Indo-Pacific is contingent on this. And it's really a question of whether or not uh, they can even strike the deal at all. All right, Nicole. It looks like it's getting loud, but yeah, out there. Sure. Thank you so much, Nicole.